Hi, this is Gary. Welcome to my channel. We're going to talk today about Groove Webinar. And this is the Groove apps that we've been talking about for the last week or so. They have the free for life version and the upgrade pro member life version where you pay one price, get it for life and never have to pay a monthly payment. Those are going away after the 22nd of February. I can't, cannot stress that enough. Check it out. You can get the free for life version now. If you have it before the 22nd of February, you get to keep it. So check it out. At least get the free version. Go and kick the tires around. See if you like it. If you like it, upgrade to the pro version to where you have just unlimited everything. And it's a pretty sweet system. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get inside this. Okay, here we are inside of Groove Apps, and today we're taking a look at Groove Webinar, which is right here. First, we're going to show you what they have, and then I'm going to show you how to actually set up your own webinar if you want. Now, you can access these by any of these links or these links on the side. They're the same things, except for the settings, and we'll check that out in a minute as well. But first, we're going to look at my webinars. Now, I've got two of them that I've done nothing with. I just kind of went through uh, to see how this is done, and I've added nothing to them. So we're going to start a new webinar in a minute, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But now we have invited webinars, and I have none, so can't really show you anything there. Surveys. Now, you can set up surveys here just by clicking Create a Survey, entering the survey name, add a question, uh, the survey name and description, and add a question, and then Save. And you can do more than one question, so you can just load it up. Next, we have your polls. And I have no polls, but let's see what it looks like to create a new one. We would just click create a new poll. Enter your question here. Enter option one and option two. And you can add another option and another option. Uh, at the end of the poll, make the results public, it says. And that's if you click there. And then once you're done, you just hit save. Next, we have canned responses. Now, this could be a little bit helpful if you've got... A lot of people out there that aren't asking any questions. Uh, this will keep the conversation rolling a little smoother. And it'll also make sure that you cover the topics that you want to cover because you can have your canned responses say anything. So it, it's kind of a nice thing to have. And you would just create a new canned response, enter your canned response, and hit save. And these would play during your webinar. Next, we have the analytics. Like I say, I haven't got anything out there running as far as webinars go, but you can select the webinar, select the session because you may have two or three different webinars in one or two or three different sessions inside of one webinar. Uh, so you can select what you want. Uh, you can also select the date range just by clicking there. Uh, last 30 days, week, month, year, last year, all time, however you want to run it. And you can check the numbers, how many attendees, the registrations, and then also replay attendees. And before we hit on new webinar, I just want to check out settings here and show you. And that's what the settings end up being is just your canned responses. So like I said, everything is up here. That would be an equivalent to your settings there. Now we're going to check out setting up a new webinar. Now with this, they are still building on this. So eventually they will have live webinars where you can broadcast live. Uh, stream where you can actually stream your webinar to multiple social networks and to YouTube for maximum v visibility. So that that's really nice. And then they're going to have meeting coming soon, which is where you can meet with a small group of people. Right now, all they have are the automated type webinars, which you can do everything you need to do with the automated. Like I say, you can throw in canned responses so it makes look like it's a, a live audience that was there with you watching the whole time. Uh, so we're going to select that. Automated is already selected. And we'll hit Save and Next. And then we'll just hit uh, a title here. And I think I already used Test. So we'll use Tester, I guess. We'll try that out. And we'll try it there as well. Uh, featured image. Let's choose an image just so that we can say we've done it all. Hey, good looking guy there. Just kidding. <laughs> no bad comments, please. <laughs> okay, so we did that. Now let's hit save and next. Okay, and then it says get started by adding a video. I do have one video that we can add, so we're just going to add that one video. And select. And duration. I have no idea how long it is. So we're just going to make something up. 
one hour, one minute, and one second exactly. And we'll hit Save and Next. And then select a presenter. I don't have a presenter, so I guess I would have to enter my name here. If I can spell my name. Okay, and we'll say user role. This is a moderator can view the control center room and moderate events even before the webinar starts. Presenter, a presenter will have access to the live room. We'll present the, well, can I pick all of them? Because no, I guess I, I can't do that. Host controls the overall operation of the webinar. We're just going to put it as a presenter and we'll see how that works. And my description is me, choose, and hey, we'll do it again, and add. And I guess you can put in your uh, presenters matching records. You can put in records and stuff for your emails of your presenter. E okay. Wow, I messed that up. Okay, so... Let's not show you this part, but I'm going to enter in my email and we're just not going to show this part. Okay, then we'll hit save and next. So up here they have the schedule. Now you can set your scheduled settings, allow late attendance, enable just in time option. Uh, let's see. I would, If I'm running this, I would just allow late attendance. Maybe I wouldn't. Hold on. Okay, this one here. Well, this one allows them to get there, and it's just a few minutes they have to wait, and then it'll replay. So you're going to get your most views that way. And you can set your time every 30 minutes, every hour, every 15 minutes, and I would go every 15 minutes. And the user's own time zone. That way they'll feel like they just caught this just in time. In order to keep things real, you might want to hide night schedules from the users. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Sounds good to me. Display days. Number of days available for sessions you would like to display. I'd say don't limit days. Display schedules. How many available sessions would you like to display? We'll do six. Why not? Don't block any day. Allow short notice registrations. Sounds good to me. What other option do they have there? That looks like that's all they have there. Block holidays. So they've already got holidays added down in here for you. At least if you're over here in the United States, that's, and we'll just, oh, well, start date. I've got to set it. Um, so we'll just set it for today. And end date, we'll set it for, uh, let's see, the 28th. Can I take that out further? Should be able to. Oh, yeah, I can just take that out and definitely put it to May. Why not? It's out there. Might as well be out there. And then once you're done, hit Save and Next. And Video Player Full Screen Mode. You can allow them to go full screen. Show user avatars. When able, users avatars will show in the chat and questions section of the webinar. Sure, why not? Show click for sound illustration. Uh, it's to unmute the webinar as it will start with the video muted. Yeah, that sounds good. Though It'll put the click this for sound and select an illustration. I don't have one. Upload my own illustration. Sure, why not? I've got different things. Sure, right there. Let's do that. Okay, and then select an animation. I've got none. Ta-da. Pulse. Zoom in. Zoom in. Sure, why not? and large we could have should have went huge right go big stay home and that's saving next and these are the email notifications now these can link in with your groove mail account so that everything is done automatically your users will receive reminders about your webinar on their email address so we'll put yes select sender identity from your groove mail account you would have to select that i haven't got my groove mail set up yet so we won't be doing that but sms your users will receive reminders about your webinar on their phone number and then they're going to want me to set up from the groove mail account so let's select no to both of those so we can go on to the next step but you do have those and then notification alerts 
and this one you can edit just by going in and changing everything about it and this would be in your email and it's one of those automatic emails that's already set up in there for your webinar confirmations so we had schedule settings uh, now it's recurring so you can set it as a recurring or a one time and you would just set your times and dates uh, we're gonna say sure it shows up I thought we had it blocked at 12 well now 12 a.m. I guess would that would be the user's own time zone occurring one time a day no every hour let's get this thing out there get it going and we're setting dates again from the 19th to May 12th enable never ending schedules sure why not and that should set it up and we'll go add occurs in a day we got that we'll sit save and hit save and next okay so we have to set these repeats every second third fourth every day okay now we got that set save and next just because i don't have my email or sms set up yet now this is where you can do integration so you can actually set uh, to different ones we can set it to test since i've already got that set up as another webinar so we can do that and select sequences you want to sign I, I use test a lot so yeah this would be a confusing mess if i was actually doing this well it wouldn't be if i had everything labeled like it should be uh, then we can look at attended select list you want to assign uh, didn't attend it, that's wrong isn't it didn't attended okay did not attended <laughs> sorry I, I can poke fun and might feel same on that one select tags you want to assign we'll set that for test as well and then we'll set that for why not test completed same thing we're, we're not going to set all these up but they're pretty much how you can set all these up with your chats uh, they watch the replay completed didn't attended uh, you can also set up for like groove member no memberships created in your account so if i have a groove member someone's a, that's a part of uh, say one of my courses or something i can add them to the list and get them an invitation sent out as well uh, and in here you can add a new integration and the type you would have to yeah i've got get response right now and then webhook you can add a webhook url ipn url so you can set all that up in here as well and that's in your integration so we'll hit save and next uh, webinar thank you page you can select a page uh, a survey invitee will be asked for survey after webinar and an external link inviting will be re redirected to a link after the webinar so you can set that up however you want uh, and you can set it up with a groove pages thank you page that you custom build or a custom thank you page url if you have one so we'll hit oh well i've got a they're going to make me pick one now i don't have one <laughs> so let's just say yeah we're not going to do that then all right we'll just hit survey I haven't created any surveys. What about an external link then? Yeah, that will they let me use that here? I'll send them to my uh, uh, website. Yeah, why not? We'll send them there. External link. And then select a registration page. I don't have that either, so we'll just do a custom URL again. So you've got to set up all these pages and stuff uh, so that you can just plug these in when you get to them. Okay. Enable upsell page. We can also, want to, oh great. I got into another can of worms here. Groove upsell page, custom URL why not custom url sure why not and then registration confirmation page i see this custom url coming a lot here okay and 
Oh, great. A replay page. <laughs> Custom URL. Why not? And no, I don't want to add a new page. I'll just have to put my custom URL in there again. So we hit save and next. And now you can do brand customization. So whatever color your brand is, you can find that color down here. Let's just do that color for now. And on this, you can actually pick a secondary color as well. Let's go red. Yeah, that looks like it doesn't match at all. And then again. And I'm going to get popular doing this. Okay, so then we have form customization. Or we can set up one-step registration form. You can fill in all the details at once or multi-step registration form. You save the username and email in the first step and then select the schedule. I think I would rather do, well, maybe not. Are they going to make me fill out more stuff? Because this is just a test, simply a test. Okay, yeah, we'll do the one-step registration form. <laughs> Because it looks like all I got to do is select a couple of times, uh, a couple of things. Maybe not. Maybe I can get away with not filling those in. Custom fields, select fields to display in the registration form. Uh, last name, phone number, text below the button. Uh, your details will be forwarded to the webinar organizer. Button text, register now. Sounds good. Use brand custom colors. Sure, why not? And let's do this one more time. And. Let's see. Save and next. So next we have the button customization. So you can change that if you want or just use the brand colors. Register now. Large, square, sure, why not? Offer customization. Use the colors, sure, why not? Button border, don't really need it, but you can put a border on there if you like. Video overlay, offer settings, background color. It's just an overlay for your video so they don't see it until they actually hover over it. So next we've got all that. Let's hit save and next. And registration page links, publish webinar. Quick registration page. Now here are your links right here and the custom registration page. There's the link for it. Let's unpublish that because this is not going live. Uh, registration embeds. Okay, so it gives you embeds so you can embed this into your website uh, or wherever you want to embed this. Confirmation assets. And this is just the confirmation or thank you page that they get after they register for the webinar. And then control center links. You have not added any presenter for your webinar. I could have swore I put my name in there, but you know, another problem for another day. Custom page links. Uh, and that's where I was entering my website in so many times. It's the post-webinar page. So after the webinar, it sends them to there. Replay page is there. And the upsell page is there. So that's everything there. And save. Well, let's look with the webinar type, webinar details, add a video. This walks you through step-by-step -step, your presenter's schedule. And you can step back to a step if you like uh, just by selecting there and whatever you want to look at you can look at change it set it up the pages the links all of it so all of it is done there so once you do that you can exit out and your this is the one right here that is the live one i can get the links whenever i want because uh, it takes me straight to the links where i can set them up like that Embed codes, everything that I need. Let's unpublish that because I really don't want that going out. But that is pretty much what we have on Groove Webinar. This is a really sweet system as it is already. Because you can run evergreen webinars and just run them 24 hours a day. Well, like they say, you know, stop it at 11, between 11 and 7 to make it look more realistic. Otherwise, people will be like, yeah, you're not having a big webinar at 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, probably not happening. And probably not real. But if you've got the canned responses in there, it's going to lead it to where you can lead the webinar to where you want it to go. You can answer the questions to these canned responses. But other than that, that's what we have for you on webinars, uh, Groove webinars. And I will see you in the outro. That's all we had on Groove webinar. It's a pretty nice system, especially when they get it completely built out. Uh, right now, it's pretty nice for having evergreen webinars. 
Uh, you can have webinars working for you. Well, you probably don't want to do it 24 hours a day, but uh, you can have them working clear through the day and through into the night. You can offer big ticket offers with this. As long as you've got a webinar explaining everything, people are more likely to buy it when they see a webinar. So these evergreen webinars are pretty good. And you can use the canned responses to ask all those questions for the answers that you want to give everyone. So it's a pretty sweet system. And this is pretty much wrapping up what we've got on Groove apps. There's so much more they're adding in, like the calendar. And I don't have a list with me right now, but yes, there's a few more other things that they're adding in. And the calendar I can't wait for because you can link the calendar into your mail, into your automated systems. It's going to be really sweet when they get it all set up. But with what they've got right now, this is a pretty sweet package. I would recommend getting it for anybody that is starting out in affiliate marketing and they're wanting to start their own business at home. Any kind of business. It doesn't really matter. Even if you're not in affiliate marketing, you can start e-com stores with this. So you can do drop shipping and make all kinds of money while you sleep. Now that can go 24 hours a day. Pretty sweet. But with that said, now I'm going to show some ways that you can actually make some money with Groove apps. And I'm going to try to get a few of these out before February 22nd to try to show you what you can do with this software to run your own business and to make money online. If you're interested in checking this out for yourself, click the link in my description below. It'll take you straight to the offer and you can check it out there. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of any upcoming videos I'm doing. And I will see you in the next one.